I heard about it through a friend of mine, and this is actually the third time I've seen this show. And every time I see it, I, you know, learn something new, I think about something different, and it's, it's just an amazing, an amazing show. And she was great, hysterical. I think Julia just lends voice to all the things that I've thought about since, um, you know, since I was very young. And uh, this is my fifth show that I'm seeing on Letting Go of God. And um, she just speaks volumes to signs and um, what questioning is all about and making that commitment to search. And I think she's done the hard work for me, but I, I, just, I just think she's a great example of a human being that's really, really struggled but has finally found the voice, and she gives me the voice. At a much younger age, I let go of God. Really, my first year of Hebrew school. Um, basically, my first and only year of Hebrew school, I let go. And uh, the stories didn't resonate with me back then. I came from a traditional Jewish family um, and an interesting, eclectic bunch. Um, my, uh, my, my mother believed in reincarnation. My my stepfather was more of a traditional Jew. My uh, grandfather was a Jew who believed in Jesus. And my grandmother was the atheist of the family, pulled me aside and said, look, it's all hooey. Believe in yourself, believe in what you can see, and that'll get you through life. Oh, I love her show. It's great, great. You know, I, I, uh, I just remember, you know, I, I also don't believe in God at this point. I, I, you know, not to give away how the show goes, but in the end she doesn't believe in God, if anybody is wondering. And I, I have a similar experience, you know, I, I called my dad up and I told him, you know, that I, it kind of worked its way into the conversation. I told him I didn't believe in, in God anymore, and, uh, and he, 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 he was quiet for a moment and he said, uh, you know, what about the kids? And I said, well, what about the kids? And I have two young children. And, and he said, well, what are you going to tell them? And I said, I, I don't know. I figure I'll, if the subject comes up, I'll tell them what I think. And he goes, can't you just fake it? And I was amazed at that answer, you know, and I thought about it. And I thought maybe, you know, after he died long later, you know, I thought maybe that's all he'd been doing too, you know. Just uh, made me really think about that for a while. It's interesting thing to happen. Yeah, I'm having a great time, and I'd seen Julia Sweeney's God Said Ha um, at home on DVD when I had cancer. So I had to come see another show of hers because she just, she's so funny. She's speaking about such a serious uh, subject, but that's been true of her shows always very very serious subject but very humorous uh, nobody i think can take offense so powerful about it is that she basically is telling her story rather than so many people in terms of religious issues will say here's what you ought to believe she says here's what i believe see if it's valuable to you yes i've been to the show a couple times and uh it's great especially for people who are just questioning and still stressing. It means a lot. It's screamingly funny, but there's some powerful moments in it too. I was weepy the last time and laughing hard as well. So it's a whole gamut of emotions in it. I was raised a Jehovah's Witness. Um, left that as a 19 year old and um, still wanted to believe in God and believe in something and so I tried the Catholic thing for a while, I think mostly because witnesses really dislike them, my reactive rebellion, and um, mirrored Julia's journey in some ways, you know, the new agey thing, and, um, and uh, when I was doing some research on some claims that were made in the, the movie What the Bleep, um, a movie that is treated like a Bible at the church I was going to at the time, I uh, stumbled across James Randi Educational Forum, and I... Uh, found a, a thread where they were questioning the existence of a soul, and it never even occurred to me to ask that question. And um, from there, I wouldn't call myself an atheist, but it's, uh, my life is much easier now that I, I, I definitely don't need to believe in a supernatural being or a plan for me. I started questioning my own faith. I was raised Catholic, and I did a lot of research, and I uh, looked at the Gnostic Gospels, and very similar to what Julia talks about. Um, and the more I learned, the more I learned that I had less to do with my religion than I thought, and it was more about finding, putting spirituality back in my faith. 
only I ended up in a different place than she did, um, I still consider myself a spiritual person, but not a religious person.